Vi har flere gange besøgt Joan og Keith Kemp, samt deres tre børn, Jennifer, Tracy og Tim. For nogle år siden boede de på en mindre landeegendom, en halv times kørsel syd for Johannesborg. Joan og Keith er begge pensionister, og det kniber med helbredet. Joan har en meget dårlig ryg, og Keith har problemer med synet. Det betyder, at det er slut med de store husdyr. Dem kan de ikke klare mere. Up over, over there, they've got the, the, the long sheds are part of a crocodile farm. Most of them are about just over a meter long. They hang them on for, I think, basically skins and also for restaurants, crocodile meat. But they do have some big breeding crocodiles there, but I think basically they bring out um, hatchlings and, and eggs because they have that thermostatically controlled all those sheds up there. Yes, I'm born and bred in South Africa of um, overseas parents. My mother's family came from Scotland. My father's family came from Ireland. Yes, no, I'm truly South African, but uh, I still have um, an inkling for um, the old. I think I think it's in the in the blood somehow or other. You, I get a hankering for Scotland or for Ireland, and uh, yeah, but otherwise purely South African. And, uh. My father was in the Indian Army, and we were all travelled all over India, and when. India got its independence in 1948. All the British officers were put on retirement. And it was a case of whether we went to England or emigrated somewhere else. This was paid for, you know, by the army. And because my father had chronic malaria, he decided to come to a warmer country. So we came to South Africa. Well, I started off in... Um as a draftsman in um, in a mining house and found it a very very dull so I moved on to um, a, into an um, engineering company and uh, got involved in structural structural engineering and then went up to um, in those days northern Rhodesia onto the copper belt onto the copper mines <coughs> to build um, houses for the uh, the mines, and then with the copper slump, I was in the 19 fif- late 1950s. Everything just f- all the, all the jobs fell, came to an end basically, and uh, returned to South Africa and took up a job with a in a window company. As a, as, as a draftsman, structural draftsman. We moved to a plot, as we call them here, of five acres, or two, 2.2 hectares, I think. And we've lived there for the last 32 years. And it was a lovely life because the children had, oh, they, they had so much freedom. They each had their own pony and their own pet. And they, they had a very, I feel, very healthy upbringing. They went to a little almost farm type school which was very good and gave them a good grounding but unfortunately they had to go to boarding school for high school because there wasn't an adequately um, how can I put it, I won't say the schools were inadequate but at that particular stage there wasn't one with the facilities that we wanted for the children you know to go as a day scholar So they went to boarding school in a town called Potchester. Yeah, well, I, I went through three retrenchments, three retrenchments, and then um, a uh, put on early retirement at the age of 58. Uh, I was only planning to go on retirement at the age of 63 because that's when everything was supposed to come together, but it didn't. So put on early retirement and then there was a bit of a battle for years and um, but now gradually things are coming or came right and 
comfortably off at the moment. I retired from the bank um, because I had a, a, a bit of a spinal problem and I couldn't cope with um, a lot of the work which I was, I, I was actually a secretary eventually in, in a, a bank and um, because of my health problems um, they were very very good to me and they uh, boarded me as we call it in this country. I was boarded on medical grounds and put on early retirement. Uh, I got a lot of enjoyment out of the horse riding world, equestrian world, show jumping um, and did um, quite a lot of administrative work for the show jumping people. Well, we always had animals, always. As a, as a child, I can remember trying to bring home a donkey that I'd found on the road, and my mother wouldn't have it. But uh, yes, no, always had um, always had dogs anyway. No, oh, no, we've we've always. Uh, I mean, Joan's a great uh, animal lover as well. Uh, she's always had her dogs, and then of course we had our horses. She had her cows at one stage. Um, you know, ducks, geese, and chickens, and but by and large, uh, probably our favourite uh, is uh, is a is a dog. But, uh, as a as a as a youngster, I wanted to become a game ranger, and uh, my father put his foot down and he said, "No, you are not. You've got to get something behind you, because it's no good going around playing cowboys and crooks in the bush." and then um, you haven't got a job to fall back on later on in life. He says, you've got to get on and make a, make a, a career, which is what happened. So I never became a game ranger. But uh, I, would have, I would have loved to have done that in the uh, free and easy in nature. And how good I would have been, I have no idea, but uh, there we are.